Is that the boys of Old Dominion I hear? It is. Yes. Yes. Certainly. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? Excellent. Good. How are you? Good. So first off, congrats. You got the ACM Awards, Song of the Year for One Man Band, Group of the Year, third time in a row. And then we got the CMA Awards coming up next week, nominated for Group of the Year, Album of the Year. Is it safe to say that while 2020 has been terrible as far as performing and, and not being able to do the, the tours and the shows, it's really actually been kind of a good year for you guys, right? Yeah, you're right. We've been winning left and right. I know. Just it is. <laughs> sitting on top of the world over here. That's at home. Sitting on top of the world at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. The music video, Never Be Sorry, just dropped. It's a fun, uh, it's like a walkthrough type video. It reminded me a lot of um, Michael Jackson's <clears throat> Human Nature. And I guarantee you our music direct our music video director does not know he might not even know who michael jackson is <laughs> <laughs> so young <laughs> um, actually my buddy texted me the other day he's like do you think that was a was that a little bit of inspiration of aha you know from that like, yeah, take, yeah, on me. take on me and i was like man our video director wasn't born when that song came out so probably not <laughs> that's great staying on the song never be sorry i read this article i think it was billboard that said it, and it said uh, shane mcanally is quoted as saying quote there definitely was a moment where they wouldn't they didn't want to do the song when talking about recording it can you walk me through that and and why and then you know how eventually you guys uh settled on it and releasing it as a single as well i mean it's you know every time you get a song in the studio you know everyone gets in their spots and you try to play it and you know see where the vibe is kind of going and that one just took an especially long time to to lock down we tried it in a lot of different ways um tempos and vibes we even changed some chords around and stuff so you know we started to get a little concerned maybe we give it up on it but then we we settled on to uh you know what it is now i'm glad we did because it sounds pretty cool to me <laughs> it is it's a fantastic song guys and the album obviously is is phenomenal you know that you've already won awards on it you're, you're gonna win some more staying on that theme of of the album the self-titled album which is out now i noticed that in the artwork everyone in the band is wearing jeans and boots except for wit who's wearing shorts and my black vans from high school what happened there? Is that, <laughs> is that planned? That, that, that's called uh, function over form. He'd <laughs> <laughs> been blasting like, his quads. It looked like Napa Valley. It was like 100 degrees that day. Sure. And apparently the, the sun was out inside. <laughs> it's comfort, man. I get it. I would choose comfort over uh, over style, too, me personally. So we got the CM CMA Awards coming up on uh, Wednesday the 11th. You guys nominated for both Group of the Year, Album of the Year. When you think about the CMAs, let's take away the wins. What is your favorite CMA memory? This is before, this is Trevor, this is before we even had Old Dominion, or maybe no, well, nobody knew who we were. But as a songwriter, I remember the band period. I wrote a song called Better Dig 2, and uh, it was the first time I was ever at any award show got invited to go down there with Brandy Clark and they debuted that song on the CMA so it was a really cool moment for Brandy and I sticking on that with writing songs for other artists some people might not know you know you guys save it for a rainy day make you miss me guy walks into a bar better dig too is there one that you wish you could have back and hold for the band we wrote a song for uh Dirk's Bentley called Say You Do that we used to play in our live set all the time and it was a, it was a very old dominion song so not that I uh, you know would have changed anything because it really helped our career back when Dirks cut it and put it out but uh that would make a good old dominion song i think let's talk about the meow mix idea where you redid all the tracks like cats who came up with the idea and and how did you guys record that i mean it's hilarious you did every song meowing when you're on the road for as much time as we are there's a lot of inside jokes that fly around and you start doing weird things like meowing at each other and singing your songs in meows and uh, somehow we had this stupid idea to record the whole album of the house. And, and, you know, I had a friend of mine tell me the other day, he's like, dude, that's when I knew that you had absolutely made it because you can do whatever you want. <laughs> and it, and it worked like you just decided you wanted to meow a whole album yeah. and you did it. So you made it. I remember uh, I, I was hanging out with Charles Kelly, like not too long ago. And he was like, you guys are freaking unbelievable. He's like, <laughs> we're over here trying to do this and this, and you guys, you know, put out the meow. <laughs> like, hey, bro, uh, don't don't hate the player. <laughs> it's true though. You do a whole album meowing, and it blows up and goes viral. I mean, that's huge, guys. Uh, all right, some quick fire questions. What YouTube hole have you gone down? You know where you're like watching cat videos, and two hours go by. Yeah, I get caught watching a bunch of Michael Jordan highlights. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Good one for sure. I, got, I was doing Bo Jackson the other day. There I got, you go. I got nice. down yeah. Bo Jackson rabbit hole. 
when I see one clip of Mike Tyson, I go down the Tyson rabbit oh. hole and watch like every fight he ever had. You end up with the ear at some point every time, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that wasn't as Probably moment. starts there. That's kind of where it all <laughs> <laughs> one last question. Last year, Rodney Atkins reminded the world that you guys were in his music video. And I'm not saying oh. this is it, but what is the worst job you've ever had? <laughs> Oh, that's definitely not the worst job. No. I, one time I was a replacement for a robot on an assembly line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there was like one robot that was broken, so I spent like eight hours a day picking up one piece of something and putting it on top of another piece over and over. Uh, I worked for a moving company. Ooh. And that was, that, I won't mention the name of the moving company, but um, there was just a couple fellas and um, some it was, sort of vehicle. And, and a vehicle that. <laughs> Um, that carried people's stuff and it was terrible. <laughs> well, guys, thanks so much. I appreciate the time. If you haven't done it yet, go check out the video. Never be sorry. We're going to play the song here in just a couple of minutes. And guys, good luck at the CMAs. I know you're going to walk away with all the trophies. Uh, thank thanks, you, man.